So I woke up this morning and I was thinking, okay, so why is it so important, Rick, that you're airing all these old stories from the old KEZI days? We did some good work in those days, and I think that people need to see and remember people like Bertha Holt, which is a story you'll see in the future, and Frank Moore, and Jim Gibbs, and all these different folks that meant something to Oregon. In terms of this Outback special, I think what I thought of is the story I'm going to show you in just a second here is the credits. It's kind of the close of this whole thing. And I said something in there that surprised me. I said, I hope that my son and I being on this trip together, that it, this changes something for us, that it kind of brings something out different. And then I thought about my boy Jess and what he's doing now. That trip, he was pretty shy and quiet, but he was listening to stories. He heard the stories of people. Now he's a fishing guide in Alaska where he spends his day working with people in a remote area, listening to their stories, and enjoying the heck out of them. Did this play a part in that? I think so. Watch. You walk away from there after six days and you think, I really think they understand life better than I do because they know what really is important and that's hard work, that's taking care of your land, it's taking care of your neighbors, and, and just and living life. And I think sometimes I get so wrapped up in um, my concerns about little details in my life that really don't matter the day after tomorrow. Do you feel like you're the forgotten part of Oregon sometimes? Well, we hope we are. <laughs> I hope I walk away from that and, and that you know, Jess, my son, and I can walk away and that somehow infects your life to make you look at things a little different. I hope. <laughs>